at the age of, I think, 15 or 16, my mom would just, she didn't really care. She'd kind of just let me do whatever. Okay, then why go to school? Why do this? You know, why not start selling drugs? Why not, you know, do all that stuff? And then I started feeling like I was on top of the world. Like I kind of be touched, like, you know, and drugs gave me that feeling. I had, I had got my felony. I was on the run for like six months. Um, I had two guns on me, drugs, all this stuff. And I remember the feeling that God gave me, like, dude, you need to stop. You know, you know, and I remember we were getting off the freeway and there was a highway patrol behind us and it was like life would have just been over. And so my heart started beating real fast. You know, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is it. And he flipped his lights on and I was like, oh no. And he went right around us and went, and I was like, you know what? I, I gotta stop doing this. So I think it was about like three days later, I called my friend and said, hey, I gotta do something, I gotta figure something else out. Uh, this is, I can't do this anymore. He, he kept inviting me. He would invite me like periodically. Um, you know, hey, you, you should come to shift, man, it's cool. Um, you know, it's Friday night. You know, I thought, oh, Friday night, man, that's like party night, like, what? you know? And uh, I remember him like, no, nah, man, you should come. You know, it's really cool. There's kids our age. But I kind of felt like I've known him for so long. Uh, he won't steer me wrong, I don't, I don't think. <laughs> you know, like. But that's when I came to shift. And after shift, it was like, like I said, it, it wasn't it wasn't anything that I was like, oh, yeah, I'm ready to go. But I just thought to myself, well, I either have this, you know, life that I've been doing, or I have this, which could be great, or it could be corny, I don't know, but let's try it. I kept feeling God's calling, calling me back, calling me back, you know, like just keep coming, just keep coming. For a month, a month and a half in, I was like, you know what, I really want to go now. Like, it's Friday night, I'm ready to go to shift, you know, it's weird. And then I started uh, volunteering, you know, I want to start ushering, I want to get involved. You know, I just I just know that God gave me a plan and a purpose, and so I can't just let it go. I can't just, you know, forget about it and act like it never happened. God and my family and my church are everything to me now.